I hit my head, Mo. We've covered entry level and intermediate level pads and beyond in previous episodes. This time we're gonna talk about helmets to keep that coconut from getting busted. And when it comes to sports, wearing the correct helmet for that sport is the most important thing you can do. When you go to a skate shop, you're probably going to have to choose between the Pro-Tech Street Skate Helmet and the 187 Killer Pads Helmet, which makes them kind of the most common you're gonna see out there in the world. From 50 to $60 for either one, what's really the difference? When you flip them over, it's kind of clear there's something going on here. The 187 helmet covers way more real estate with the foam, which is going to absorb way more of the shock waves and distribute it across the helmet way more efficiently. I'm kind of sold right away. Sold. I had shot the rest of this movie over a year and a half ago, so I went to Zoomies to make sure that nothing had changed with the helmet, took it off the shelf, and the Protec helmet has not changed one iota. But let's look a little closer here. The Protec has a 3 8 inch thick medium density foam and a 1 8 inch hard foam for a total of 1 half inch. Whereas the 187 helmet has a 9 16 firm foam covering most of the interior of the shell and a 1 8 inch foam that's really, really soft. That totals out to about 11 16 of an inch, which is almost a quarter inch thicker than the Protec. Sold and sold. For the liners, Protec has a three-fourths of an inch normal fabric padding that's kind of been around since the 90s, at least as far as I know. And the 187 has a one and one-eighth inch thick liner, which is weirdly gushy. It's called a sweat saver liner. Sweat Saver Liner Technology by Triple Eight set the standard in comfort over 20 years ago. Sweat, stinks, stains, and even worse, can burn your eyes. Ooh, that smell. This revolutionary liner has a moisture wicking layer that limits sweat dripping to keep it virtually stink proof. We'll see about that. And a 360 degree wrap around design to ensure there is absolutely no liner separation even during the heaviest of sessions. Okay, I live in central Florida, which is mostly jungle and swamp. So when I go out there and do physical activities, I sweat profusely. So we will be putting this sweat saver liner to the test. It's me from the future again. Just wanna let you know that that sweat saver liner a year and a half later, it does help with the dripping a little bit, but when it comes to the smell, you have to rinse out your helmets or they're gonna smell. Um, but the smell actually doesn't come from these cushions inside as much as, surprisingly, the straps. The straps need to be soaked up and washed out or they will smell. So the smell doesn't always come from the cushions. Back to it. Protec gear has kept me safe for three years now. And if it's what you have available or if it's what you have now, use it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine gear. I got this because it was glittery and 187 hasn't deployed glitter as of yet, but it is a definite upgrade. Get out there and learn how to skateboard, pad up, be safe and give it a shot. A squid shot. He forgot to say squid shot. He liked the way you play with his coconuts. <laughs> you vacuous, toffee-nosed, malodorous p-